It's a good speech. It's the same speech every president has given at the OAS for the past 40 years. I'm pretty sure things have changed since the Cuban Revolution, and I'm giving the same speech. It's a great speech. But Eisenhower thought so when he wrote it. But I'd like to say something a little more original. We employ the best speechwriters in the Western world. The better ones in the Eastern world. Nobody likes a smart ass, Mr. President. Yeah, I loved directing the episode I directed in season two. Uh, it was an amazing experience. Uh, I, you know, I had acted and directed together before, but nothing like this. Uh, and this is such a beautiful group of, 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 of our cast and the crew and everything. So I'm, I'm really hoping I get to do more in season three. My favorite line was from season one, and that was when uh, there was a scene on the bus in the sixth episode, I think it was, when we were on the campaign trail, and I, and I turned to Olivia and I said, how could I have been, I'm trying to remember because it was a while ago that I said it, but how could I have been so, such a, so, such a coward to marry her and not have waited for you? That's a bad paraphrase of the line, but I thought that was such a beautiful line, and, and um, I, um, I still think it was my best one. Bet. I mean, come on. <laughs> Olivia Pope. If I could be stuck on an island with Olivia Pope, uh, with my wife somewhere very, very far away, I would be a happy man. Linda, I do think Fitz is a good president. Uh, his, his, his personal life, <laughs> notwithstanding, which is in constant disarray, um, I believe Fitz is a really good president. Uh, and I, I believe he's focused on trying to do the right thing and, and uh, bring a sort of higher value to the office, um, even as he misbehaves uh, outside and sometimes in the office. <laughs>